So I think we can now set up. Can you set us off nicely? I'm talking less today. I want to see your posturing for the course, then we'll know how to handle ourselves. Okay, this is level 400. So go ahead, okay, uh, Queenie. I want to know what you saw in the reference text that I've been giving to you for the time. Okay, um, I saw that when we speak of development, it's usually associated with the economic aspect, which has to do with enhancement of living conditions and um, I read something on Michael. I do not pronounce his name. Don't worry, pronounce it as you know. They don't pronounce our names well anyway. So we also okay. must have had it. Michael Paul Todaro. He mm -hmm. gave three objectives of development. And mm -hmm. he mentioned that one, raising people's standard of living. Two, um, creating conditions conducive for the growth of self-esteem. And then three people's freedom. Yes. Yes, see that's my input. Okay, thank you. What, how do you understand the three reference, the three uh, pointers he has given on what should constitute proper understanding of development? Do you want to add something to that, Kini? So, like you take the first one, according to Michael, so and so, what he thinks development should constitute. Then you touch on that, and you take the other one. Then you touch on that. Your colleagues will benefit. Then we take from someone else. Are you able to do that? Enhancement of state the first one. Let's see if someone will help us. Then we take it from there. I want the class to be a discussion. Otherwise, it will be level four hundred. Here. We can't come and do two poor pass and forget. It won't help us. So please, if you state the first point that you reference Michael for, then we cannot discuss what we think he meant by that. So just re re read it again. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so the first point is raising people's standard of living. Okay. Can we discuss that class? Queenie set us up nicely on understanding the concept of development. She first identified a certain problem that almost everyone engaging the concept identified, okay, which is the, the people wanting to equate development to what? Economic growth. Almost all the authors that you were, you were asked to read are querying that in their own way. They are querying that conception of development. Even Jechi, whose view we used to counter these ones. Things that you can't think of development only in economic terms because of several reasons that each person gives. Okay, so Madam has just read the first one from the Michael guy who said him no one wants to mention. She mentions enhancement of people's. Sister, say it again. Enhancement of what? Um, raising people's standard of living. Very good. So raising people's standard standard of living. Let's discuss that. He says that should be a component in our pursuit of properly understood development. Raising people's standard of living. Can I have people's view on what that means? Okay, let's pause with that. Maybe people want to say something. Thank you, Queenie. Exonerated. Can we have someone else tell us what they read on the concept of development, please? Let's let's do this quick, okay? So that I will know that people have read, I will take it off from there. If you haven't read, I will not engage. We'll, we'll, today is done. You go and engage on what is development and then you come and respond to that later. I'll go on to topic two. Okay, so let's get feedback from you. There's another hand up. No. That was Queenie's hand. Okay. You haven't read anything. Is that the response? Apart from Queenie, of course. Is that the response? That the class didn't see anything. If you didn't see anything, then there wouldn't be anything to show. So I'm waiting. We gave two references. Let me go and share some kind. Maybe two. Waiting for a hand up. Otherwise, we are done with topic one. We'll move to topic two next week. God willing. All right. So, this is Sakai. This is your fill. 
you are main campus, so this is fill 417. This is the resource given to you, is there? Okay, they were put there. Philosophy of development, the concept of development itself by Amaria Sen, and then understanding development, which are the slides. You didn't see anything in any of them, apart from Queenie. That's what I'm asking, please. I said, okay, I'm a junior, go ahead. Bear with okay, me. Good afternoon, neighbor is bound to be in her compound. <laughs> good afternoon. Okay. So, um, some notes I took was that we should not be equating development to be progress. And okay. development is more of um, a qualitative aspect than quantitative aspects. So I think this that is according to who? Question. It's very good, but I want you to help your colleagues who didn't open the text and have come to listen. Please, where did you see this so that they can also go there? If you remember, if you don't, okay. don't, don't get distracted. Just go. Okay, so um, this this was on page five. Um, in as part of the introduction. Is it in the slides or in the, the reference slides. text? Okay, the, so did you, read the, did you read the reference text? There were, there were just no, two. Words. Okay, go ahead. That, that's what, where the issue is set. Now you go ahead. Don't worry. Continue. Okay. Yeah, so um, from what I also was able to understand from the fact that development is the point, uh, sorry, a qualitative um, concept, and it, it means that it encompasses something more than just um, in the economic or in terms of um, social progress, but it also looks at the holistic development of the individual within a communal framework. Yo, thank you, sir. Do we have anyone else, please? Please, do we have anyone else? Hmm. Please, do we have anyone else? Because we, we want to know if you engaged the content, that we can build on it. You understand? We want to know. I don't want to come and walk you through the slides. What we have, what, what I have been put in the slides are self-explanatory. So it is just a connection between what you read and what we are, we are projecting. That will bring understanding and then what uh, appropriating that understanding to actual contests and what have you. For a 400 class, no, it's a no, no. So I want to, so, so the whole class didn't read, apart from uh, my lady and then the gentleman, even there I suspect is from the slide, which is still an effort, that's the effort it made. Okay, then we'll meet Godly next week. Okay, when the class is prepared, you will read. And when we meet next week, we are going to topic to touch on development, but you answer questions on that. Do we want to go that way? The slides are there. They are not something that you, you were asked to even go and look for. I want you to understand. You, we didn't give you a reference. We didn't say, hey, go and find this link somewhere. It has been done, pulled down a PDF version. So it's accessible to you. Even if you are not on Sakai, you are able to get it from a friend because you know you virtually come. So the few, there's quite a number of you there. That's what I'm asking. Whether you came to class with no information at all from just two reference texts that were given to you on what you read so that you can reference, let's say, uh, because I, I have my notes down to even beef up the slides that have been posted for you. Remember the course is school taught. Okay, so I want to beef it up. I have done my own reading to add to that and then the discussions. So I want to know what the class did. Nothing. You didn't read anything on Amaria sign. Hey, ah, okay, I'll wait for a while. If I don't get any feedback, we are done with what is development. We'll move on to the second. You have 400, you can read. I'm waiting, people. Okay, my friends. And we find that they invent their group. You won't be able to do it. So I don't want I want you to do it. I wait a little. If there is no feedback, we are done. I open assessment. 
due the third week. And we move on, on what is developing, on the authors that you have studied so that we can now do a critique of them. I was coming to discuss a critique of them after we walk ourselves through the slides in connection to the reading. So we didn't see anything in the reading. I don't think they were difficult texts. So I've gone through them. They were not difficult at all. Let me wait for a while for hands to shoot up. All right, let's have any of you. It's very disappointing, really. I may have to tell the prof that I won't be able to assist him. He should take the course because I, I'm not able to engage a 400 class that way. And I already admonished the class, you see, because that will not help you. The point is, it will not help. If it will, we'll move on. It's not 200 or even 300 level. 300 level will still demand certain things of you, but some things can be exempt, especially if it's an elective or even if it's a core and it's descriptive and the people can, but this is level 400. You should be able to conceptualize, grab concept, okay? I am not asking for the concept proper. I just want to know what you saw. Then we will help you see the, the matters that are of essence, you see. And no one seems to have read, with the exception of two, or two reactions. Even the reactions, they are from the slides. I just want to reward the effort. That is not helpful, Caleb. That is not helpful at all. Go ahead, Caleb. Okay, madam, please. The development. Development is not purely an economical process or phenomenon, but rather multidimensional. I'm sorry, no, I didn't hear the second part. You said but rather what? Multidimensional. It touches on other Those are from the slides. Yes, they are from the slide. Do you know how I, mm -hmm. I, I didn't prepare those slides? <laughs> because the course was assigned to someone, you know that. I didn't prepare mm -hmm. those slides. But because I'm going to engage you on it, I have to look at where we have started and where we are going to, so that I can build, bring in my quality along. So I've engaged, you know, as you started speaking, I said it is from the slides, yes, which is fine. But you have to be able to connect it to the content. That's why the original document was given to you. Because at level 400, you should be able to conceptualize. So the lecture is guiding you with the slides. But it has given you the original text. And it, they were not given to you just this morning. They have been given to you for you to glance through and read through. So when you come to class and I ask you, OK, so the, in the text, what did you see? You can do a summary, a, a thesis. You can sum up what Amaria Sen was saying or what uh, the other gentleman who is the chairman was saying, yeah, then a line or two. Then we take the discussion from there, guided by this. That's how you learn in level 400. I beg you. <laughs> so don't read the slides and tell me they are projected. Can't you see it? That's what I'm projecting. I'm talking to the class now. If you look on my screen, you see that I'm projecting slides. So we all have it. We all know what is written inside there. Okay. This is on the notion of development. What does uh, the concept development mean. I even wanted to, I, I brought you some fine, interesting things from Jetty's perspective, the functional notion of development, which he thinks overrides the other one. Oh, these people. Ah. So what are the objectives? Someone read this and let's go, please. Someone read this, please. No one can read that too. Okay, let's go on. So we want you to understand the various ways the concept is used, some of which are conceptual, some of which are economical, 
some of which are psychological. And in each case, we want you to see how that generates conceptual challenges. As you read the references, it will show you that if we want to assess the strength of those definitions, we'll have to look at that in the context of how others are defining the term. So I have a definition of development. The other person has it, uh, the, the economic one, the political sense of development. Why do we call certain nations developed and others underdeveloped? What is the grounds for saying that? So we, we would want to assess the strength of each of those definitions. And then even where you agree with someone on their definition, how you can critique them or examine their weaknesses. So Jesse's view, which critiques about development and says that uh, the, the economic notion of development, I have to move places and the people are too close. So I, I suspect you're having too much noise. All right, so I was just saying that we will learn, we'll assess the strength of the alternative definitions. Then three, we will assess the possibility of a holistic approach to development. If we want to consider development in a holistic manner, not just in a myopic manner, we'll look at how that, how that can also be done. So three things, that's what your slides tell you we are going to look at. We now move on to the next slide, which says what? Not enjoying the class at all. One of you should read this. Please put your hand up quickly. Bettina, go ahead. Read what you see. Okay. Hello. Go ahead. I can hear you. Okay. Introduction. Development can mean different things in different people to different to, people. To different people. Mm -hmm. Writers use it to connote different things. Okay, so the author we gave you to read, the first author, okay, depending on which one you open, but the name is down there, Uta Van Hafton, okay, has a certain understanding of development. He looked at development from various perspectives and then rounds it off. That's what we see on our screen. Okay. One of you should read it for me, please. The term development is, Bettina, you are reading, go ahead. The term development is a member of the family of, of change words. Some terms are actualization, growth, Mat maturation, evolution, and the recently trend of realization. Oh, those of you on Saka, hold on, my lady. Those of you on Saka, I'm going to give you an. I, have, I really don't want to give some people advantage over this, but others who can. I was going to open this. I was going to give a question on this paragraph, and I'll tell you to go and write your own re react to that question. Uh, this paragraph, in not more than five hundred words in 30 minutes, then we'll come back. That's what I was going to do. But already you have told me that you now you haven't read, <laughs> which is not good to people. I'm laughing because I don't want to be angry, but you can't do that in the world. When you do that, you embarrass some of us who were integral in your formative years at level 100, 200, 300. You embarrass us, but it's as if you don't qualify to be here. You know, read my lady, read, it. read to the end. All these members of the family have certain semantic features in common. For instance, they, they all refer to a form of change which requires some, some, some time to come about. Please, do you understand this? Anybody want to explain what is on the screen for the benefit of others who may not understand it? I want some other hands, unless others... On to who wants to explain that? Are you ready for the class, please? I think so. So quickly. Anybody wants to explain what Bettina just read, please? Anybody wants to read? Excuse me. Explain what Bettina read. It's on. It's still on the screen. You don't understand it. I said, Kwame, thank you for the effort, but I think I want someone else. Let's hold, hold on and see someone else will react. 
At least there are 36 of us in online now. This, the lady read what is on the screen that is currently projected. The term development is a member of the family of change words. Other terms are actualization, growth, maturation, evolution, and the recently trendy self-realization. These are family words. All these members of the family, which family is that? The family that you can find development amongst, all of them have certain semantic features in common. When you look at the language of it, semantics, language, they have something in common. All these words that we have mentioned on the screen, growth, maturation, evolution, actualization, even the one that is quite trendy now, self-realization, mm, are all terms that uh, the, the family, that belong to the family that we will put development in. In other words, you see, when you look at palm fronts, there are even coconut, there is the edible one, there is the flower type, there is this. But when you see all of them, they share something in common. Yet some you can't eat it, others you can. Look at mangoes, there are salo mangoes, there are gay mangoes, there are and so on and so forth. So they belong to a common family. There is something that is common to look at cats. You have the home cat, you have the tiger cat, cat tiger, and or the uh, leopard and uh, what have you, belong to a common family. So think of development, and as soon as it comes into your mind, these other terms, actualization, growth, maturation, evolution, self-realization, are terms that are common to the family that, in other words, there are terms that share something in common with development. So when you hear the word development, these immediately come to mind. That's what we have read. It's nothing te technical. So she, the, the author tells you further, and we are referencing a specific author whose full text we are giving to you there. I want to show you, I'm sorry, okay. The person says, for instance, they all refer to a form of change. So when you say actualization, it suggests that there's been a shift, a change. Whether it is upwards or downwards, it's what is in contention when we move on. But when you hear actualization, when you hear growth, maturation, evolution, it tells you that there's been a change just as you would see same for development. I would even have added progress. When you hear it, it tells you that there's been change, which requires some time to come about. If you hear actualization, it means it will go through, it's a process. So when, when we tell you, my, my son, uh, that's growth there. What I'm saying is, uh, oh, growth is there, excellent. If I say my son has matured, or I'm waiting for my son to attain a matured age so that I can pass on my, my will to him. You are talking about a process. It doesn't end. There is no finality supposedly to it. But, when, but what we are emphasizing now is the fact that there is what change that comes about with time. So that you start thinking about development with that frame of mind. That is what the, Bettina has just read. Okay. But you know, go ahead. So that's what they share in common. But this slide says what? But there are, but there are also differences. For mm -hmm. instance, in many contexts, government can be used instead of good, but not vice versa. Hold on, please. Well, Who can explain that? Okay, you finish that statement. Then I'll ask the class to explain. Please. Warm yourself up quickly so that we take off. Go ahead, lady. Development is also not the same as progress. Yo. So what I wanted to point out is, uh -huh. see, I, I talked about progress earlier. Uh -huh. So progress is not here. Now, you see that even when you hear progress, too, you can put it in this context. Mm -hmm. They will belong to the same set. It doesn't mean they are the same. But they belong to the same set, a family. You will think of them. Uh -huh. You would think of them in the same way. I will welcome, don't bother at all. So the term development and actualization and growth and maturation and evolution and self-realization, and I want to add even progress, seem to belong together. Even though there are certain, please keep looking on my screen if you can, there are certain fundamental differences. And our lady just read one. In many contexts, she says, we can use development to replace growth when we say hey okay, when you you have grown 
that one, the two can mean together. If the person has developed, we can say, oh, you have grown. But oftentimes, we don't say, well, excuse me, but let me read it as it is. For, for instance, in many contexts, development can be used instead of growth. Uh -huh. When we really want to say, hey, me when you, meaning in, in tree language, meaning that you have matured. We oftentimes say, say it with growth. Okay. But we don't use growth to represent development. I'm even getting confused by my own elaboration. The whole thing is <laughs> boring me. So development can be used in the place of growth. Because in the natural languages, we use growth and development almost entirely. The language is not too different, at least as I know it. it makes it difficult for me to show it in the natural language. But when, when I, I want to say you have grown, I can say you have developed. That one will create a problem. That's the point I'm making. But if I want to say you have developed, but I use you have grown, then that generates challenges. That's the chief issue. Economic growth and economic development are not the same. That's the chief point. We can grow economically. It doesn't mean the nation has developed necessarily. So one can replace the other, but not vice versa. That's what Madame read. And I wanted this explanation that I'm giving to come from my 400 level class. Then I'll be enjoying the lecture. I'll be watching them. Then where I think that, oh, no, no, you are slipping too far away. Then I'll, I'll say, no, no, that one, I, you have to say. Then we discuss. So the second semester, when you come in and we say, we want to, we are confident that the people know what they are going to engage the class with. And this one, day. OK, let me shut up until I see your whole show. OK, I want you to sit up. Now she tells us that development is also not the same as progress. I explained that uh, implicitly when I read the, the first slide. People can develop, excuse me, let me say it back. People can progress and it is not development. Why? Because the progress can be a deteriorating one. They can be progressing, if you speak mass language, inversely. They are going backwards, not forward. So the fact that people are progressing, so to speak, doesn't mean they are developed. This is what you, you would have distilled from the text if you were engaging the perspective that the authors were putting across. That will say progress. And if you look at the quality of it, one of you mentioned that the quality of that supposed progress, it is not a develop a, a development, so to speak. It is a change, yes, but is it development? Not necessarily. Just these three slides can form a very nice three essay exam for your eye. Just these three slides. We don't need to go far further away. But your response would depend on your having read around so that your, your essay will be rich. That, that work can be done for you. OK, that's my point now. If someone else wants to continue, then it's fine. If not, Bettina, please read. Ah, OK, there's another hand. Queenie, your hand is up. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, Madam, I wanted to add up. You wanted to, sorry, please, add something. Yeah, eh? I, I wanted to contribute something. Go ahead, go ahead. That's what I've been waiting for. Sorry, shut up. Go ahead, my lady. Okay. Um, in terms of development and growth, I feel like growth um, signifies transitioning or taking a step ahead or just moving forward. But yeah. I feel, I, I think that with development, it's not only taking the step, but taking the step in the best direction exactly. or the right direction. Yes. So yes. Th thank you. Are you so done, please? Yes, I'm done. Thank you. I think you did some reading. Even if it was just the slides, you connected it somewhat because you have responded well. So uh, just like the explanation I gave with the progress and then the development, the, the, the third slide here, eh, excuse me, the fifth slide here is showing you instances where when you use development to come and replace the other term, there won't be any controversy because development seems to be a higher quality. Eh? It seems to be a bigger in context than the other term. So here are the differences that the author take note. I say everybody that agrees with that. That's why we can't come and tell you just this. You, you have to read around and see the argument that uh, Amaria Sen may, makes. Eh? Then the one that Hapton is making, all these perspectives. Hapton himself did uh, you know, different versions. He looked at different ways of understanding the term before he came to this, to distill the main point and then argued on. So you have to read it around, okay? But that is the point that my lady also made. Very good. 
if Bettina wants to continue, like I said. Otherwise, I see Nana obeying his hand. Very good. Go ahead, Nana. Then Eugene. Then Priscilla Chema. Chema. Very good. Nana, if you are there, please go ahead. Your hand is up. Either to read or to contribute. We are glad to hear you. Um, Doc, I wanted to read. Go ahead. Thank you, Bettina. Thank you. But there are also differences. For instance, in many contexts, development can be used instead of growth, but not vice versa. Has the slide moved? Because I've shifted, I've changed that slide. Has it moved? It's now moving. Okay, okay. go ahead then. Development is not purely Development is not purely an economic phenomenon, but rather a multi-dimensional process. Now, this is very it's good. So far as the Hold on, please, my lady. Hold on, please. Do you see that the, 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 the one who prepared the slides has referenced someone down there? If we like, let's say I'm at here 10 cents so that we go, but I don't think there's, the name is pronounced as sense reference. Look at it. So if you don't do the readings, you see, what will happen is you, you have many ideas about the concept, but you can't connect, and this is an academic work, you can't connect it to the specific person who said what. And the challenge with that is you will think that everyone agrees with this, as we have been going on, but it's not everyone that shares that view. What we are reading now is a specific author's uh, you know, view about the concept. What does Sen say? Sen says, Development is not purely an economic phenomenon, but it is rather a multidimensional process, 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 multidimensional process. It does, it's a process. Process means if you if you distill, it doesn't have to have an end. Of course, but it is multidimensional. This is coming from a specific author. Now I'm doing the all the talking, then you are writing. What kind of level one, <laughs> level one hundred class does that? Yeah. Oh, Sister, continue. I need it. In so far as the development is concerned with the achievement of a better life, the focus of development analysis analyzes has to include the nature of life that people succeed in living. Please, in so far as well done, but in so far as in so far as, in so far as development is concerned with the achievement of a better life. This is this author's view. So far as if we talk about development, it's not some mere thing, but it, it's, it references attaining a better life of sorts. Mm -hmm. So what? Continue from there. Um, talk, please, the slide. Oh, what happened? Has it moved? No. What has it done? Something came on. I'm it. done with that one. Well, no, read it again. I, I, I said how you read it earlier one didn't help as much. So I wanted you to continue from where I got in. So far as development is concerned with the achievement of a better life. In Kosi said, like I said, development, a dream, how I need to in the media. You see, so far as that is what the focus of development is, which is what? Achieving a better life. Better is always relative to a previous life. Okay, so my better life may not necessarily be your better life. As far as development is concerned with that, its focus, eh, the, when you are analyzing, the focus of the analysis of development, analysis just means when we are opening out and discussing matters around mm -hmm. development, the focus has to include what? My lady, continue from there. The focus of development analysis has to include the nature of the life that people succeed in living. What does that mean? I have explained that to this point. What does that mean? Anybody, including those who have spoken already, explain what that means. Because development is interested in how people improve their lives. Every discussion on development must focus on. Then sister finished reading that part. And I want to hear from you how you understand that. 
This has slides, oh, my dear friends. This is not the original text, right? This has slides. You pulled out points. After someone read it and pulled out the point and made it this way. Now the points are relatively explicit. How do you understand? What do you make of the point there? Which is referencing same. So far as development is concerned with the achievement of a better life, the focus of development analysis has to include the nature of the life that people succeed in living. When we are analyzing development, it has to include the nature of the life that people succeed in living. I want your views, people. Christiana, your hand came up. It has gone down quickly. Are you ready, Christiana Usu? Christiana Usu, are you ready? Oh, sorry, Christiana Usu. Christiana, go ahead. You are muted. Maybe you have forgotten. You are muted. My dear girl. Okay, let's take Priscilla Trema. Priscilla, you are also muted. Though. Yes, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Doc, please, can you hear me? Okay. I can hear so you in now. my opinion, um, the text is telling us that if we want to analyze development as um, our point, if we want to disintegrate what development actually is or how far development has been achieved, we should check the way that the people are living, whether their lives are getting better or their life is getting worse, whether their jobs are getting better, whether their kids are having better education, whether their general standard of living is getting better or is getting worse. It's um, um, an important aspect of analyzing development as a whole. Thank you very much. I won't add anything. But where were you all this while? You and your friends, why have you hidden yourselves? And only a few of you are carrying the class. Because this was clearly in science paper that what we should focus on if we are analyzing the state that is developed, the one that has been developed, what we will count as development proper. We should look more important, the focus means that is what is uh, necessary. All others may not necessarily matter. What is acting? How you are improving on the way people are living, the life they have, their, the nature of their life, like my, the lady put flesh to, Chema mm. Presla put flesh to. Are people having X, Y, Z? I don't want to repeat them because that is her point that she used to develop her argument when she's writing, which everyone must be able to, that one is not written here. But if you read the main text, then you get the flesh, then you connect it. Then when you are speaking, it's not all theoretical now, like she was saying. How you focus the analysis, the focus of the analysis has to include, but the focus, well, maybe I would do any team, I would say, I included these ones, how people's lives are directly improving, succeeding, they never finish succeeding, how it is affecting and enhancing lives. All right. Uh, who would I call? to read for me. Thank you, my lady. Will someone else want to continue reading for us? Or whoever is reading, please continue. I forgot you, my lady. Go ahead. Okay, Doc. In short, we take qualitative charge as the main definitional criterion for development. It was actually change. Uh -huh. Qualitative change. Can you see that? We take qualitative change. Yes, though. Uh -huh. Qualitative change as the main definitional criterion for development. Please, do you realize that we all of a sudden, I'm sorry, do you realize that all of a sudden, the, the one we are referencing, look down there, it's not the one that we were referencing earlier. It's just you are showing how this one's view ties in with this other person's view to make the, the case about the kind of development concept that you are presenting. Okay, so we show you that this person said this and this. So the slides are summarizing the key, what the, the, the one who prepared it considers to be the key things in those authors' presentation, which looks, to, looks like they tie into each other. I want you to take note of the scale in making those slides, because that is what shows that you are understanding the step-by-step -step presentation in the original text. That's all my concern for, for now. 
That's why we are going through the spice like that. If the class was well read, I think it was generally speaking, then we wouldn't be going reading through slides like this at level 400. We would just reference. So I would have been saying, so you see the point that uh, Hafton was making with his qualitative change discussion. That is why, where it ties in with science view that, you know, development must be multidimensional and must be more focused on the process of what, enhancing human life. If you tie that in with what is, that's what the lecture would be. Then you would just be connecting it all oh, that. Okay, that's what we put on the slide here. That is what this person said here. Then now the discussion is let's engage. Where we can critique, we critique. Where we can evaluate, we evaluate. Where we want to agree to an extent, we do. Then we can now apply it to everyday life. Now we can think about, so do you think that the notion of development that is being applied, let's say UN's conception of third world, uh, second world, uh, V8, you know, and stuff like that, does it wash? If it doesn't, it's not enough to say that they are cheating us. They are saying, no, 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 you have to, you have to have argument. I do philosophy, not economics or politics. So there should be argument grounds to, to make the case we are making. But if we don't get the theoretical framework within which we are working and what views we are applying and what we are critiquing, whatever, then we'll be speaking in abstraction. So I really want to beg the class. Let's have, you know, last week we didn't engage in any content, if you watch that. I just took you around some of that. We're still settling on having to assist and all that because it was just abrupt uh -huh, from the senior colleague, which is okay. But this week we want to do, so right after the class, I sent slides and then sent messages to everyone that put this there, which is easily downloadable. So you can even pull and put on your platforms or share to your colleagues who may not even be. As we speak, now, look at the number of people online. It's not a physical lecture, it's online. You can join even from wherever that you are, if you are not on campus yet, yet because of fees or whatever. But look at the number in class. And if you look at the number here, the number on our WhatsApp platform and the number on Sakai, properly registered it. You can tell the posturing of the class. They know that, oh, this woman should teach everything. But I will do, but no, it is not good for you for level 400. So I won't want to start that way. If it continues, I will not engage content like how you do with a fresh class. I will not be a fresh class. I won't do that. I'll let you do the reading, come and present. Then I'll be quiet. If you present, fine. If you don't, then when I finish, if it's C, 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 G, 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 father, father, you know, then I give you. But I don't want to do that. So I beg you with all respect. The one that the lady is reading now is Hafton's view, which I think to some extent ties in or agrees with Sen. So the author, uh, the, the, whoever has put slides together to help you, I want to speak that way so that you can have that skill too, is pointing out those, then ultimately bring the, the discussion to a certain frame. Then from there, it opens the philosophical part of it, where I will ask you your view. Do you agree, justify this? That's when we will start. Madam says, in short, we take qualitative change as the main definitional criterion for development. Suppose your interim assessment test says, with a practical illustration, explain why you agree or disagree with the view that qualitative change is the main definitional criterion for development, full stop. Do you envisage any challenges? Give reasons. That's a level 400 interim. It's not a final year example, but interim assessment, I can ask you that. This supposes that you will have to understand why or what we make of the view that development is qualitative change. What do you mean by that? Before you would say that you would have established that development is not just growth. Because if I get a boil on my tie, my tie has grown a boil. God forbid, and apologies, if you have goiter, it is an extension, it's growth. Something has gone beyond where it should go. It is currently, it has moved, so to speak. But that doesn't necessarily mean development. So you would have to show that, you would have to show how it differs from progress, the extent to which all those concepts agree. So you see that you'll be doing our slides, uh, just to answer that question if you did a good read, then you will come and show why the qualitative is key to understanding development. Before you now appropriate that idea to a practical instance, then you have done the first maybe 50% of the question. Look at what you've covered to, to, to address 50% of the question. They are now coming to show, justify the reason why you think that is how uh, you know, 
development should be uh, defined and the challenges that we generate. That's the second part, if there's any at all. And why you say there isn't, why you say there is. Then finally, your response to that. That's philosophy. So, so if you haven't done the wrong reading there, you haven't even addressed the 30% before you start doing the, the integration or synthesization of the ideas, then you start giving your own uh, evaluation and whatever you it's, it's not too good now. Okay, so I hope that by now people are set are settled in their seats and we will have a better next week. So today I'll do I'll do what I can to help you. Qualitative change is crucial according to Hapton. Sister, go on. We may then say that development means a process of oh, it's a sorry, so a a process that, that, that now you are being told to take note of the various a uh, key component that come to play when you are engaging the concept of development properly, properly understood according to this person. Because that properly understood is a think of it as a value term. So someone will say, what is, is this the properly understood? That's why you always have to tie it to someone. So the author says, the author here referring to who has put the slides together says, if we got all this, all the preliminary discussions we've had, then a, a correct way of thinking of the concept development, according to Hampton, is what? A, it should include A, the idea of what? A process. It is not something that comes boom at once and enters. No, some of us don't like process. Don't want the thing to go through a process. <laughs> Always remember, development is something that is ongoing, a process. You, it goes through stages, if you like, or, or it goes through, yes. So if it's a process, then it goes from one to the other to the other. It is not an abrupt thing. My lady, B, what? B, more or less gradual. Gradual. C. What is the meaning of that? Yeah, but I, uh, my dear, be patient. Why? Let's take people's views. I've explained process. What does it mean when we say every correct understanding of development must also make note of the key point that development is gradual if you, you want to attain what is properly called development. Don't think of development as one of it's a process. Two. Don't think that you can rush it. All of a sudden, brothers have put rub on their uh, chin so that they will grow hair. <laughs> uh, I know you are laughing over there, but I'm trying not to laugh too much so that I'll put a grim face. The next week you read before you come. Listen, the more you are putting rub around your, your beard, your, your beard, uh, it's not beard, your chin to grow beards means you are forcing development. Development is not forced. You allow it to go through its process gradually to let the stew simmer so that it will attain that, that taste you are looking for. I'm looking for funny examples to help you see it. You can't rush it. No, you have, you have sat everybody from this area so that this place, that is growth. Then you build high rise buildings. But what happened before? It has to be gradually done to attain the level. So you want people to mature, there I go, to the state that we can see this is a developed, just, not just maturation, because we have seen that, okay, maybe maybe the two that we use are better. Not just that we have progressed or we have, there's economic growth, but it has to be a, a, a less, a more or less gradual process, depending on where you start. Africa there, if we go to gradual, we are in trouble. So more or less means, you have to look at where you stand to look at the pace that you run. But you don't have to rush it. Change, there will always be, of course, you know what change it. It will shift from one place to the other. That is why you want to be careful not to call every change development. Some people change or develop uh, retrogressively, whatever that is. Inversely, you go backward. So there is a change, but it doesn't necessarily mean it is development. It has to come with other things. Multi, back to the top there. Remember, it's multi-dimensional. Some people grow economically, but they don't think well before they speak. So they are not holistically developed, if you think of it from a psychological perspective. He has money, so he talks rough, rough, rough. Economically, cash. But when it comes to seasoned discussion, he doesn't think. 
Oh, when I ask you, they will be going to fear. No, no, that kind of thing. So if it, the person is developed, or we are talking about this nation being developed, or the, the society being developed, or the language being developed, it means all these aspects must be included. Means A, process, B, more or less gradual, C, change, D, change that is what? Resulting in what can be reconstructed as one or more, there comes Madam's emphasis, qualitatively different stages. So first, at a certain age, you won't do certain things, yes. Even if you did it, we can overlook it. But when you move to an, a, a, another state, that's what I'm doing with you now. But maybe you haven't noticed. In level 100, there are a lot of things that can be overlooked when we are dealing with the student. Because of the level, look at the needs a level. But when you advance to level 202, we expect a certain degree of qualitative difference. Obviously, the quality must be higher because you have gone higher. Then the third stage, then the fourth stage in the investing system, I mean, okay? So at every stage, that's the D point. When we have a process that leads to a less or gradual change, a more or less gradual change, which results in one or more qualitatively different stages for which, there comes the fifth one, for which the prior stages are necessary conditions. Okay, who wants to explain that? The last bit. Hey, the sister has put her hand. Giddy, giddy, giddy. Hey. <laughs> hey, don't do that too. Enough, go ahead. Welcome, go ahead. <laughs> so, say that the prior stages are necessary conditions. I think of two things. Yes. Um, I think the, it's like a foundation. Mm -hmm. the, how you are able to start more or less with how you be able to go it in the latter stages, then how you be able also to sustain the development that you've got. So, um, for example, the prior stage of foundation, the start of it. Can you use our class as an example? <laughs> <laughs> I say use the class. The class. How you are starting now? Eh? Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, don't go to level okay. one. Use today. Today is lecture two. <laughs> or like, take it this to be substantive lecture one. As someone, you know, in catch a class and say, all that I know to tell in the classes, if you don't have a good foundation, the stages will be kikri, 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 because this stage is necessary for the next stage that we will call qualitatively different from the earlier. What happens in the first stage? will affect the qualitative difference of the big, uh, second stage and the third stage and the fourth stage. You can move from church to a friend's and to home, to that's why I'm doing that, to lecture hall, to the nation, because the concept of development affects all as When I said that, I, I mentioned psychological, I mentioned economic, and different with even you know, bodily development. So I didn't say it, Enoch said, <laughs> the prior stages, that we earlier referenced in point D. You see, the earlier ones will affect the next if you are measuring the qualitative difference, which augurs for what? A better notion of development. So from process of what? A more or less gradual change, which results in one or more qualitatively different stages. Take note of the one or more. Sometimes uh, just that one previous stage, properly done, will, if it will affect stage two and three and four and five, which are not even directly connected. You see, I don't know how to say it. Maybe your eloquence at studying Bible quotations will help you stand before people. It wasn't part of the church thing, but it will affect some quality that people see in you somewhere. Maybe because you lived with grandma and you served her well, and you were obedient, it makes you have a certain maturity in the way you are engaging people, which is not part of your work ethic. You know, the work gives you rules, sack someone who is you are the boss, but you have a fear answer, which has what? Affected how you are working. So that stage of your, you know, the first stage, if you like, or the prior stages, 
impact the next stages qualitatively. If that is happening all in, in, in tune from the process to a more or less gradual change, which is resulting in one or more qualitatively different stages for which the prior stages are necessary conditions, we say, ah, you know, he has, he has I, I keep saying he has developed or he's developing. When we talk that way, we say he has developed. Remember, it is a process. So it's not a sense of conclusion, I mean, no. But we speak that way when we see these a key concepts at play in a situation. Thank you very much. And lady, continue. You know, thank you. Go on. This process takes place within a developmental pattern. Very good. What does that mean? Did anybody see that in their reading? This is what uh, Ahunya Queeny referenced. Look at it. To that way. A lady, is that what you saw? <laughs> then she gave me the first three points. <laughs> I'm sure that she's, she quickly ran through her slides and said, hey, I have to get something to say. It's okay, I read uh, somebody. Queenie, are you there? <laughs> oh, Queenie, yes, are you there? Uh, tell me if I'm lying. <laughs> yes, but. You see, but you saved the oh, class. Because not I, it, it, it's not true. You had it already. Uh, my lady. Oh, I read it from the slide. Yes. I Just when I, I I was giving too much pressure, then she said, Charlie, let me show you I did in Canada by this woman. You see, but I, I, I at least I, I acknowledge that effort. The person is making an effort to say something. If they let me say it, if I say it and they say it's slight, it's just due to the general hate. Because we are giving that content. So this is where the sister got it from, to Daru's slide. Uh, Queenie, please read this for us. Then we can explain it together. I think the temperature is cool now. Go ahead. Thank you, my lady who read it. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Yes, please. No, please. Because of my network, I haven't seen the next page. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Then so then my sister who is reading. Else. Sorry, oh, you see me. When I saw a new person, I'm going to throw it away. Please yeah. read for me, eh? Sister can read. Okay. Michael Port so there are three objectives of development. Good. One. Raising people's living levels, that, that is, incomes and consumptions, levels of food, medical services, education through relevant growth processes. That is what Priscilla Trema referenced. Michael, well, Todaro, so we have seen, look at the names we've seen so far. That's how you get to know authors in that area. It's not any magical. I'm telling you, people who, they, you're like, they don't do magic. People who say they are minister of this or that, they don't do magic. Right now, you have heard three names. Amatia Sen. We mentioned the name Amatia Sen. Let's mention it that way so that we can read. But if you, if you search for how it is pronounced, it's not that. The T is silent, I think. But you know Sen, Amatia Sen. You know so far, just this 30 minutes or so plus that we started engaging, you know that she has said, I say she has, the author has said something about that about development. And this is what she said, or he said. If you don't know anything, and whether he's male or female, you know how much I said, you know that he has, he or she has talked about what? Uh, Multi-dimensional understanding of development. And that multi-dimensional understanding must emphasize process. In other words, the quality of that development that you have in mind is key. You can't have development without all oh, this is one author. Then we have seen the earlier one that you and I saw, see his name of the half ten. If you don't do that, as soon as we ask you something relative to half ten, the name Nangasa didn't keep. You don't have any author's viewpoint. When I tell you that now, from what we have discussed, engage Kwame Jachi's functional uh, uh, definition of democracy, which he uses to critique the economic growth notion of development. Use that to critique. You don't know who said what. You write such a nice essay, but you may be hitting a trauma because the person you said has done so and so and so didn't say that. So here we are on the third person's view, which Queenie helped us take note of. First, make sure if you say you are developing, you have this focus. Objective means at this initial, your object, your focus. What development properly understood must focus on. This is this author. One, 
make sure people's living levels have been raised. I don't think we're having that now in Ghana. Maybe God will help us. Incomes, consumption. Sometimes you have money, but there is no food to buy that uh, money with. And we are told that, that uh, there is no food to use that money to buy. We are told that before long, we'll have that issue. That's what those who see into the spirit say. It will start from America and others. God will help us. But the point is, incomes, consumptions, levels of food. It's not just food, but the level. Medical services, not just medical services, but the accessibility. Enhance people's life, education through relevant growth processes. So growth is inside development. You need growth to develop, like we saw earlier. But when you say you have developed, you can't equate growth to it. Growth is part of it. Growing economically, whatever, whatever, all together will contribute to. Now I've gone ahead of myself and I'm telling you of it. Will contribute towards what we call a developed nation, a developed personality, a developed language. Sometimes we are told some of the languages are not developed. So it can be used at a certain level. Development multifaceted. So here we are, the first thing, according to Michael Paul Todaro, we are hearing him today. One, raising people's living levels, which in, in, in practical terms means giving them a raise in their incomes, their consumption, the levels of food, medical, blah, 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 on your screen. That's one. Two, Ante. If someone else Two. wants to, you keep your hand up. Two, creating conditions conducive to the growth of people's self esteem through the establishment of social, political, and economic systems. And Institutions which promote human dignity and respect. If someone were to define this, uh, explain this point too in two words or one word, or in in small, in a simple way. I don't want any longer. See, I want to see if you can use a key word to focus on the point two. The point one looks at something that seems like uh, tangibles. Economic. Let me say economic. Okay. What point do you think the point two? is emphasizing to the uh, to Daro's views emphasizing oh please friends you see that my mood has softened a little don't let the same people keep doing that let me do that they would hijack the class i've seen enough sand but i want someone else can someone else also react i see two hands but there are 30 of us i'm not angry please <laughs> i'm relaxed you say something can I see five hands or something? Then we can engage. You have to help yourself. Eh? Then you get straight A's and pull your turn up to first class. But you have to earn it. That's all I'm doing. I see three. If I get a last hand, then I'll call one of them. Anybody else? What we have on the screen? Like if you are thinking to then you want to use a word or two to describe what the focus of the point two by Michael. Uh, uh, I'm waiting for a last hand. Please bring it and let's go. Okay. Thank you. Let me take uh, Nana up. Thank you all, all, all of you. Nana, go ahead. Mm. Um, Doc, I think creation of jobs. Okay. Which one? The second one. The second point, look at it. Yes. Creating conditions conducive to the growth of people's self-esteem through the establishment of social, political, and economic systems and institutions which promote human dignity and respect. So my question was, what, what do you think the target of that point is? Which part of development is that one focusing on? The earlier one focuses on the people's economics, if you look at it, or how I look at it, okay? Their incomes, their consumption, the level of food they accessible to them, medical services, education, you see, through good processes. Now, if you were to, okay, so that is your view. You think it is it, it is focusing on buildings, uh, what, jobs, eh? Okay, thank you. Let me take someone else. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to take uh, Bettina. So, uh, yes, my lady. It's talking about sustainable development. You thank you. Bettina is giving us big ball. She says it's sustainable. 
<laughs> hey, Betty, sustainable development matter. Let's take a step from Virginia. Thank you, Bettina. Okay, so I believe we can condense the second point into infrastructure. Okay, thank you. Uh, anybody has a different view or an additional view? Let me say it that way. Something they want to add. Someone says it's sustainable development. No one says infrastructure. Someone says uh, jobs. The point two. Okay, let me take uh, Priscilla. Queenie, have you put your hand down? Let Not me take please, in my opinion. Yes, focusing uh, on emotional well being. Excellent. Well done. If you can think of it also as uh, everything you said is correct too, but look at the focus. I'm looking at so if they do all of those things, what will be the benefit? It's in the person psychology. The person said, look at self-esteem. So have a system that encourages people to have a where is it? Let's look at it together. I've closed the thing. Create conditions. You see, so Michael Todaro is saying that if you say you want to attain development, whether a nation, a department, eh? like if you see them, you say, oh, this is school there, uh -huh. a, a school, the University of Ghana, it's really developed. What you should mean is that one, the people, so let's use Ghana because I think we'll talk state. Eh? The people, point one said, increase their incomes, their consumption of food and whatever, medical access, educational, there's, there's those ones, do everything to make sure that the people have that. And I think that, is more on the economy, economic. Okay, but the point two, my view is that, and this is level 400, so we want to encourage people to think. Anything I may add, it's, it's, that's why it worries me that quite a number had not read, because then someone says, oh, but doc, I think if you look at the, the man, the so and so's page, so and so, 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 if you see the line of his argumentation, I think that he's rather emphasizing it. Is that so? Let's go there and see. Then we engage, oh, like a discussion. Not headmaster and students again. No, not at level 400. We are almost colleagues. It's not a place to make you feel proud or arrogant, as you say, but it's a place to make you feel confident. And so a system, look at that point two again, a system like the class we are having should create conditions. That's why sometimes people are speaking, what they are saying is not exactly correct, but you have to have a way to help them not to have a low self-esteem. They don't think, that, hey, that's for this class, here you come. The question is, Enochen, Ahunya, uh, Queenie. Queenie, I like your surname, so bear with me. I keep mentioning it. Uh, oh, uh, or say, that talk. Even now, Adam is only a Priscilla Trema in this pulpit. So me, I'll keep quiet. Sometimes you won't say it, like it will be in your person. So the man is saying that if you have a correct conception of development, you will not only be focusing on economic things, which we have mentioned earlier, I think. Eh? But you have to work on people's, or you have to create conditions that en enable people to improve growth. Eh? That is in their self-esteem. The people must have a, an atmosphere that makes them see themselves as somebody too. It's part of the development. So if you are going, then you just push the food down for your house and close the door. We have given her food. But you are not helping her to have a holistic development. Why? Because when she sees you come in class, she doesn't feel like she qualifies to come in here. She's like the dog in your eyes. So she's not developing only because you are giving her food and she has grown tall and she has body. But you have you have neglected a very important aspect of her development. That's what Michael Todaro's emphasis is for point two. Self-esteem. How? How should you do that? Through the establishment of social watch, political and economic systems. It's not buildings. System. So if you want to ask a question in class, the class system permits you to raise your hand and ask, whether male or female. The social system that is set eh, must encourage that so that people, so the focus is self-esteem. But how should that be done? Through the establishment social, political, and economic systems. So the systems must encourage. We shouldn't have a system that says women's place is the kitchen. If, it's, if the system is like that, some people will have a low self-esteem and they won't even see that there's something wrong with it. 
when they are talking in the meeting, you say, Mem and Kwang, with a mem and words. This is this this is only meant to let them to I'm, now I'm I'm having a I'm talking about a gendered system. So the system must allow for people. It, in other words, it should be conducive. I was saying Makwai, it should enable people to feel and grow who they are. So if the first attempt, maybe the person got it wrong, then we all say, hey, this one there, if you wrote it in your exam, I would have given you see. We all laugh. The atmosphere must be like the next time she will still feel confident. Hey, last time I go see in class discussion. No, please let me say something. You see, then you are helping the person, the person see himself or herself as part. So this is when we are talking about what? People, people, not things, the people's self-esteem. So Daryl says, when you do the first one, note that the second one is also key. Then the third one. I don't know if there's a question, you can stop me. If not, then we can go to the third one. Go ahead, uh, Auntie. Who is reading now? So that I give a mark, I, I forgot your name. Oh, please, it's Nana. Ah, no, no, be. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. Enoch, you have a question. Go ahead, please. Or is the earlier hand that was raised? I think it's the earlier hand. Oh. Sorry, you. No, no, go ahead. Three. Increasing people's freedom to choose by enlarging the range of their choice variables. Example, varieties of goods and services. Very good. Here too, what do you think the focus is? If if to, to Daru emphasizes that development should have this third component, okay. at least from what you are reading in our slide, what do you think the focus is? Increasing people's freedom to choose by enlarging the range of their choice variables. What is the focus? Okay, let me come to my place. Oh, there's no hand up. <laughs> hey, you see. Enoch's hand is up again. Anybody else, please? Don't get tired of raising your hands and say, oh, Doc, when I raise, no, no, I'll call you. Raise. It's not Enoch. Who is this? Is this it is someone Prince. sitting with Enoch? Yes, please, madam. Oh, this is Prince. Prince, Prince, eh? Prince. Oh, when you do that, put it there. Because I give Max, oh. <laughs> you put it, I give Max. Go ahead. When you come and ask me for recommendation, there are people who are struggling to get a recommendation from I don't know them. You say, oh, Doc, I got A. And I say, I have an A there. When you get, you know, you have come, I should recommend you, eh? Recommend you for being able to analyze, articulate this. How will I say that? I don't know, but I don't know, say, Kwame Junior directly. I don't know him exactly. Maybe if I see him, I remember that I know. But if he sends me an email that he wants a recommendation, I write it. I don't know him personally, but I'll write, and I know what I can write. The reason no, why please, I won't write for certain people, you know, the reason why I won't write for some people is because I don't want to write bad things. Or I don't want to write a neutral you know, recommendation. I want to say it that, oh, Enoch is very articulate. He has a leadership skill. He's able to analyze. He can be very uh, troublesome sometimes with plenty of emails trying to defend others or help others get access and all that. But it's this, this, this. And I mean it. So the person reading it will see that this is Some people, they never talk in class. You see, <laughs> they never talk in class, but they get A, which is good. For the A, but not good for the class thing because A is not enough. You should be able to speak at Parliament when we vote you there to articulate our views, and you will learn that at settings like this church, your friends, this not that you they will be there in Pekasa. How will we hear what you have to say if you go to United Nations as our rep? So, Prince, I'm just saying that when you come online like this and you are with someone, put a knock at your name, stroke Prince. This go ahead, Prince. Yeah, Madam, please. The, the focus of the, the third point is freedom of servitude. That is freedom to make choices. Very good. So I'm saying that. So what is the focus? Which is fine. You are correct. So when the, the author says increase people's freedom, what do you think ultimately the person the author is trying to emphasize in his in his objectives for development? It's the same thing. Just say it if I want you to say it. If I want to see if you understand. Okay, so people people should be able to make choices without um them uh, without those people not being forced to make those choices. So that's the word I'm looking for. Force, yes. force. Like that's it. The author is stressing that in your bid to pursue or attain or achieve development, the element of force 
cannot be entertained. And sometimes people don't know that they are forcing people. They think that, oh, like what we are doing right now in class, you are forcing me to initially, but now I think we have calmed down. You were forcing me to end the session, but I was controlling myself. All the talking I was talking was to control myself so that I don't act in reaction because when you throw a ball at the ball, it comes back. It's the kind of force with which you throw it that comes back. Sometimes you think you have a, a system that but you are forcing people to become obese. You don't give them many options. <laughs> We are not saying they should, not at all. They are never right. But the system should give people options. People have finished school, for example. Eh? That one is not only a, a, a national problem, like a government problem or something. Sometimes it is our own philosophical thinking too, as a, as a society, as a culture. Okay, so it's not all. Even the training, the kind of training we get will make you think that when you finish, go and look for a job. Why should students be trained? And then even the thinking is the course they are doing, the when they finish, they won't get a job. What kind of philosophy is that? They won't get a job. Who should go and create the job for others to go and do? So that the whole system is saying that you should have courses that train people to be employable. Look at the philosophy. Don't share. Let, are my people, are my friends, eh? this is level 400. You ask yourself, if all the training mommy is giving you sister at home is so that you can be marryable be married by someone in that sense of it of course you should have those qualities so that you can you can manage your homework but my point is if the whole training you catch all that you have been told this if you do this your husband will do this the whole your whole life is on is built on the man that is coming what if you are going to make the man's life better financially economically spiritually whatever what if you will bring something to the table so why won't you groom the person to be better for her not for someone. Now back to our discussion. So increasing people's freedom to choose is another way of saying, which is correct, that what you said earlier is correct. I mean, it's not any strange thing, but I wanted us to focus on taking away the element of force. How? Certain options, when you give, you are forcing the person to choose only one. Like the example I gave you in class about some professor in the past who will say, the exam has been given to you. The options are five. Essays are five. But the exam instruction says, choose question one, three, and five. <laughs> Is that a choice? <laughs> you are answering three questions in the exam. The options there are five. But the instruction says, choose question one, three, and five. The element of choice has been taken away. It is as if there are choices, but you don't have a choice, so to speak. So we shouldn't do that. That is what uh, Todaro's third point is emphasizing, increasing people's freedom to choose by enlarging the range of their choices. It's not by enlarging, it's not by enlarging their choices, no, but the range, the options from which they can choose, make it plenty to the person perhaps complete school, the system is such that if they don't want to do book long, they can still they can still do it by going into vocations or technical training or stuff like that. And it will be something that, look up to that point two, friends, we'll link it. It will be something that will not hurt their self-esteem. Look up. So you are creating something here that gives them varied options so that they can make a meaningful choice. See the choice of words I'm using. Choice that is meaningful, not choice that is not a choice after all. It was really a compulsion, but disguised as choices. That, that one can happen if you are looking out for systems, structures that enhance people's self-esteem. And at the same time, you are looking out for what? Giving them a raise, an improvement in their living conditions, like Priscilla Trema emphasized. So the three together, according to Todaro, will be important key matters in determining a developed or a developing world. Very good. Any questions? Right. We will top up with a few. We still have some good time. There's a link there that the, the uh, I think the instructor put there to 
beef up some of them. Some are actually pulled, some of the content here were pulled from there and put here for you. So if you look at the link, then you see the connection. Some theories of development. Sister, if you are not tired, now now, now being, if you are not tired, yes. then go. Oh, aren't you tired? I think you are tired now. Should should uh, the lady who read earlier help you? Or you are fine? Or someone else want to? You are fine. You are fine. Now, now go ahead. Then. Theories of development. There are many theories there. of she, she gets tired, I'll let you go ahead, my lady. Sorry. There are many theories of development out there. These include development as economic growth, Good. organization, Good. as human development, Good. sustainable development, and etc. etc. There are so many, my friends. There are so many. So you can be focusing on an aspect of a certain. A focus of development in the whole discussion. You see that sometimes I move from national one, then I go into human one, then the kind one that your friend brought us, sustainable development, development that you can sustain, and then modernization and growth, the one that I believe oftentimes is used to determine which country is developed and whatever. But if it comes to morals and the quality of it, I mean, a communal setting where you start pounding fufu and the whole neighborhood will come and help you pound it. And I say in the whole uh, uh, courtyard, you have those in room one, room two, room three. So, ma, remember, wow, should I come and help you? you? You get a sense of affection and communality and belonging compared to one that you are like a hermit living in an ice cold setting and you won't encourage communal, you know, living to. Then you are alone there. When you are sick, no one knows. You can die in your room for this. No one knows because individuality trump. You see? So some of us, if we are allowed to make our input about conceptualizing and determining who is developed and who is not developed, it will not just be about high-rise buildings. Not at all. It's not enough to think that, hey, they have, they have developed too. And all that your focus is on is the kind of buildings and houses and what have you that that state can boast of. When people do other things that are, I mean, grandma is coming with her back and shaking and no one thinks they, they should help her. What kind of system is that? So you see, some will be thinking, oh, economic growth, modernization, what have you, the chief's argument against a, you know, a certain understanding of development. I'll find that text for a PDF, but it's not heavy, it's just enlightened, just to enhance your angles of perspective when you are critiquing and evaluating and assessing views, that's all. It's, it's a key matter. Development is not a joke. Matter. So your sister says there's all these different theories, eh, thinking around the concept of development. And then you have been given a link to go and watch a short demonstration of some of these development theories. You can do that later. Now, the, the ladies, the, I keep saying the ladies. I hope that people can come. The concept of development, which we looked at from your reading, aren't they? Read, read now. You read the whole slide, and I'll ask someone to read. please focus. I've seen that. Oh, we are going to do the class thing very, very soon. Those who don't have are not on Safari. You will do it, you will type it into your email and send it to me. I'll pull it and put it down for you until you come to Safari. If you are here and not on Safari, you will respond by email. I'll give you 30 minutes to do that. So we'll do that shortly. Those who have left, you won't come to class to react. You won't read that into you are leaving. <laughs> My dear, read for me. Mm -hmm. Remember, we the are looking at this person. Go ahead, sorry. I'm a Thai. No, don't mention the name. I said, <laughs> the, 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 the T is silent. Eh? But don't, don't, don't forget, I mean, forget, they call Kwame Jechi, Kwame Gaiki, Gaiki, and things like that. We, we manage it, so go ahead, don't worry. Mention it the way you can and read the, the substance. In here. The close link between economic development and economic growth is simultaneously a matter of importance as well as a source of considerable confusion. There can scarcely be any doubt that, given other things, an expansion of opulence must make a contribution to the living conditions of the people in question. Please, someone explain this to me. It's just it's big for nothing much. So who wants to help me? Maria Sen. <laughs> who wants to help me? Let's see. Oh, dear. 
what Madam read is not complex at all, but I want to get your view that economic development and economic growth are simultaneously linked. There's a link between this and this, okay? That link is a matter of importance as well as a source of considerable confusion. No wonder people equate the economic growth to economic development. If I asked you, explain why you either agree or disagree with Sen on the view that economic development is not necessarily economic growth. Use practical examples to make your case. What would you say? You see, maybe make use practical examples from your context here to make the case or to support or uh, disagree with the view that economic development is not necessarily economic growth. He's telling you that, that there is a close link between the two. They are both economic, but one is growth, one is development. And he tells you that that close link is first of all, something that is very important that we must give attention to, okay? But at the same time, it also creates a lot of confusion. I've told you how Kwame Getty critiques that notion of development conceptualized in materialistic texts, growth. Okay, I use the uh, goiter on your neck to make a, a in, on someone's neck to make the point to just show or excuse my language the pantheasis or some boils that is on your body. Apologies, I just for it. They are all growths, something that has gone beyond its its uh, original position. They are growths, but they don't mean development. You see, but if a young girl gets this, those same growths on her chest, then we are all happy. She's becoming adolescent. We call it breast. <laughs> so there, there is a certain connection between growth and development, eh? which is something we must look out for. But there's a point being made here about financial matter. That's the second paragraph, which I want you to explain. So someone will do that. He says that connection between growth and development is something that is important. You have to give attention to it. But there's a certain correlation between economic growth and it's leading to what he admires, economic development. There's a certain connection there, which is so important for us to take and to give attention to. At the same time, this link, this close link, is also a source of considerable confusion. It means it's a source of problem. So then immediately, the slide tells you, there can scarcely be any doubt. It means there is no doubt. You see, when you see so many adjectives and buffaloes, just say the thing in a simple way that you can grab and then get the concept. When you finish, you can learn the big expressions okay, and the level of difficulty in writing. There can scarcely be any doubt. Given other things, that's an economic, that's what. An expansion of opulence. What is opulence? Let me see whether that is the problem. What is opulence? What is opulence? Ah, then maybe that's the problem. What is opulence, please? Anyone? Thank. Oh, very good. I see many hands now. Eugene, go ahead. Bettina, be on standby. Hello. Yes, yes, Eugene. I can hear you, Eugene. Doc. Yes, my dear. Yes, opulence is about luxury. Yeah, opulence is about luxury or wealth. Wealth, very good. So an expansion. Luxury or wealth. Well done, well done, sir. It's true. So look at the reading. There can scarcely be any doubt that, given other things, an expansion of opulence, when you your wealth increases or the goodies become plenty, that must make a contribution to the living conditions of the people in question. There is no doubt about that. That's the point he has just made. Someone explain now. So let me take, uh, you, you just spoke here. So please go ahead. How do you understand that? Very good. That, that is more like a uh, level 400 class now. Go ahead, my lady. Oh, sorry, you are muted. Um, Doc, please, I would like to okay, okay, please please. explain my point better. Please okay, say can it. you hear me now? Yes, I can. But say what you wanted to say again. Pretend that I didn't say Okay, it. so I said I would like to use an example to be able to explain what I want to say better. Please do. Please do. Okay. So I'll give an example of maybe Oforiata, the finance minister, 
Can yes, you tell us that, okay, the GDP of Ghana has increased by so so and so figures between this and that years? Yeah. But then when you come to the ground itself, the main people are not even seeing any difference. It seems like it would have been even better for us to have been in the bad GDP than moving forward in the good GDP because we don't see any qualitative change in our life as a stance, even though our salaries, our salaries may have increased. Groceries and other things on the market have also increased. So the net right. income that we we'll even have on ourselves to be able to develop our own selves yes, and you are living in Ghana. Maybe in you are living in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I think the point is made. Okay, so if you had a lady and all of us, I think that those whose hands were up also wanted to say that. The point is, under normal circumstances, there shouldn't be any doubt. We shouldn't have any issues in agreeing that when you have increase in what your wealth, economic wealth, it should automatically improve the living conditions of the people in question. That is the connection between economic growth and economic development. They, are, they have certain close link. That is the point being made here. So that you cannot easily, by, by implication, you, you won't easily talk about economic development without connecting it to economic growth to an extent. In what sense of it? For when you increase your opulence, when there is an expansion in your wealth, for example, a wall, it must, it actually should make a contribution to your living conditions, okay? That is why Madame's point is, if you come and tell us that the wealth has increased, GDP has gone this, and this is, has gone that, and we don't see an, a, 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 what, is, what is the expression? A concomitant increase, an accompanying increase in our living conditions, then we, we don't see the point of what that growth. So economic growth has a link and must have a link with what economic development. Because our time is almost up, let's read the last slide. And then you can go and do the assignment I want to open for. If I don't set up, you people will break my leg. I don't want you to do, let me break your leg. Sister, please read the last one for me. I think it's Bettina, then I'll open the assessment. Those who are on Saturday, okay. please you go and respond to it. Go on. The process of economic process development. Of... Hey, who did I ask to read? Was it Bettina? I hope I didn't create yes, the confusion. Stop. Okay, my dear, read for me. Yeah, you said me. Okay. Yo, please do. The process of economic development cannot abstract from expanding the supply of food, clothing, housing, medical services, educational facilities, etc., and from transforming the productive structure of the economy. And these important and crucial changes are undoubtedly matters of economic growth. Excellent. They are undoubtedly matters of economic growth. Look at that. See the connection? We read from the beginning. Look at it here. There is a close link. This is the man called um, Amatya Sen, eh? making a case. He's saying that oftentimes we don't want to say that, oh, economic growth is the same as economic development. That's what we have been doing since we started. That development is more than just mere growth. That's what we have been saying from all the authors we have studied today so far, just on the slides. So no stress. Now, but he wants to emphasize that, look, economic development and economic growth have a certain link. It's not a mere link. It's a close one. They are tied together. Okay. That connection is something that is important to look at. Anybody pursuing development, growth, excuse me, uh, home, look at the various conceptions of development we, your sister read, the lady read earlier. Whether it is human development, economic development, national development, all the versions of development we have. This man is now building on it. He says, there is a close link. That, clo uh, that close link must be given attention to. If it's a de department of philosophy and class, you have to look out for that. If it's university of Ghana, look at it, your church. If they say they are pursuing, you want the church is developing, you want the church to develop, whatever conception of development you have, take note that there is a link, according to my Amatya said, between economic growth and economic development. And that link, there are two aspects to it. One side of it, it's important to look out for it. In other words, it will help to improve one 
if you have the other. So you have to look out for that so you can help the team grow. Then there's another side of it you must take note of because they have that close link. It generates a lot of confusion. People pursue, say, growth. I don't want to say all for you. They think that they are giving you development. Like I showed you, the house help gets food every day. She's never gone to sleep hungry. The wife you have always has food. You give her chop money, you leave money. But maybe you are hurting her self-esteem, which is part of her development. Who says that? I want a chorus answer. Who, who emphasizes that quickly? Omnity and answer. I want to see if you are following. The self-esteem matter. Who are the people? <laughs> Everybody should unmute and tell me. Who, who stresses that? Oh, I want a chorus answer. So don't worry. You or whatever you are, unmute and talk. Who emphasizes? Give me just a surname. <laughs> hey, where are my level one? Michael. 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 Okay, so I heard, 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 Madam President, I heard you. I heard a few others. Most of you didn't talk. That is Michael Todaro's view. Well done. The other person said Todora, Mati, and yeah, hey, I'm going to do Madam President, you are going to come here and I'm going to come class. Okay, listen. So the self-esteem may be hurting, but you give her money. You have built houses for her. That's why I stress that point very much. If you are going by to Daru's view, then you have still not completely, holistically, given the person the human development she's looking for. So we are now looking at that link. That is where we started from. Don't rush yourself. So the point is, under normal circumstances, if there is increase in economic growth, it should lead to the enhancement of living conditions. Who talks about enhancing living, almost all of them have. But Michael, to that was first point, if you remember, which uh, uh, our lady, what, what was her? Yeah, Queenie earlier recounted. You see how to learn, you connect them. That first point is what is happening down here. Okay, so the link is, if there is economic growth, it should, I'm, I've now said it, I didn't want to. It must, it should reflect in our what? economic development proper. Development is enhancement, self-esteem, enhancing economic conditions of the persons, raising their blah, 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 consuming uh, whatever food, uh, what, they, what is available for them to, et cetera, to, their, to them. And the second one, self-esteem, et cetera. So we are saying here, what Amatya said, that if there is economic growth, it necessarily must, improves or if you like contribute adds to economic development that is unfortunately sometimes it is not that was priceless habit and this man also emphasizes that that it's not enough to come and talk big bro for when the thing doesn't show the people's life <laughs> okay then it brought us to this place <laughs> you cannot take economic development away you cannot abstract it onto me in from you cannot pull it off, the supply of food. Remember what that is. These are all supposedly the tangibles, clothing, housing, medical services, educational facilities, etc. And from, you can't take it away from what? Transforming the productive structure of the economy. And these important and crucial changes are undoubtedly, without doubt, matters of what? Economic growth. So the ones that we listed there are connected to what? Growth of the economy. Growth. The one that we say is not too high up there. We are focusing on development. But the man is saying growth aids or improves development. So the two are closely tied together. That is where we got. I want to give you work. So I'll read these ones for you. At least we can finish with time. We are on the 13th slide. That is good progress even though you had not read, but we, we gradually went through. You can be able to answer the questions when you do the further reading. Before, the time is not too good. People's network won't help. I know people are very happy. So I'm giving you a question, but read it. So I open assessment. If I don't do that, I won't help you. So let's help ourselves. I open assessment. Maybe we can't do it immediately. It won't be fair to some who don't have gadgets here. They have to find a place to sit, no network. So we'll give a little time. I'll post it, particularly increasing the gross national product. That's what Madame said, and total employment. 
what is a gross national product? What is GMP? GMP measures the monetary value of all the finished goods and services produced by the country's factors of production, irrespective of their location. So you measure all that. We then can prefer IGP, someone said, <laughs> IMF. We know that now, economic growth connected to our uh, IMF issues. Since I read this last slide, I think this will be the real last slide, and then I'll go because I won't open the assignment. So people went to call their friends. Hey, the woman said she opened the thing. They have all come back. <laughs> I, I saw it. You think I've not been a student before? <laughs> when I said I opened the assignment, the 33 or so that started was around 25. Then I told them I'm going to open it now. We are 29. You check it. You see it yourself. My lady, please read this last one and let me leave you people to go and rest. Yes, please. The importance of growth must depend on the nature of the variable, the, the expansion of which is considered and is seen as growth. Okay, let me read it well, better, please, okay, for the class. Then I'll, I'll let one of you or any one of you explain that and then we'll bring today's discussion to a close. I will still open the assessment, but maybe not within 30 minutes or so, so that you have time to do it. Look at it, the importance of growth must depend on the nature of the variable, the growth expansion of which, you see. Okay, so the importance of growth, the importance we place on economic growth up there must depend on which type, okay, the nature, which type of variable, what is it that we are trying to uh, uh, grow? It is growth which shouldn't be greater in value toward a development. Growth would have been subordinate or if you like, lesser in, in value to economic development. But the, the point the man is making here is that it depends on which variable whose expansion is considered and seen as growth. It means that it's not every growth that we should think is not really relevant compared to development. We have to look at the specific variable we have in mind. Okay, so from slide number 15 onwards, I expect that you will engage me on it more extensively, God willing, next week. Hopefully, the city campus test amongst you may take a cue from what has happened and read before we come. But I am done. Any questions? Any questions, please? All right, if there are no questions, thank you very much. The concept of development will top up the second half, hopefully next week, and then we'll start the next topic. I'm engaging with the prof so that some of the topics that I'm not sure if you see, okay, I'll take that off the recording. Let's talk off the recording. The reason is it's not part of what we want to share out there, but we will engage well and then streamline the, the areas that we would want to take if he's able to. If he won't be able to, then I'll put content on the the topic that I want to engage you, then I know I'm taking the class with you, not partially. But I, either way, it will work fine. Okay, so do, you do your part too, so that you will progress. See that I have not posted the course outline yet. I am giving you content so that at least if anything, I'll say this one, we, are, we have discussed, so we can examine our students on that. But this one, we couldn't, or you should have, but maybe for some reason you weren't able to, so I replaced it with this. That way, you will have a fair deal. The content will still be and development, the flow, uh, uh, contemporary issue, but you will not be shortchanged. So you to do your bit so that you have a, a good con quality content as a 400 student. Thank you very much. I wish you were the, the last person has come. He's coming to do exam. He's <laughs> coming to do a quick uh, online. I won't do anything. I won't do anything for today. Maybe next week I will, but I'll open it as an assessment perhaps for them. Thank you, uh, Queenie. Thank you, Priscilla. Thank you, Benita. Uh, thank you, um, Enoch. Hey, why did I start mentioning him? Let me finish. <laughs> Those who have gone, I will remember. Thank you, Christiana. Thank you, uh, Eugene. The rest have gone. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful week and all the best. It's just a reader. Oh, thank who is you a reader? Know. I left someone. <laughs> did I leave someone out? Okay, if I left you out, I'll give you plus one. Okay. Forgive me all the best that take it.